and welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Melanie. If you'd like to get to know me a little better, all my social media links are linked down below in the description bar, so be sure to check that out if you're interested in any kind of way. Today, I wanted to pop in and kind of introduce you to my April plan with me. So for my April plan with me, I was actually inspired by the Magical Readathon happening this month, as well as the Fairy Loot Reading Journal, which I do show you. I used that to draw. I felt like it was like the most appropriate thing. Um, I will definitely leave Fairy Loot and G from Book Roast down below so you can check out the Magical Readathon and Fairy Loot for their amazing book subscription boxes. Highly recommend them. Such amazing quality. I hope you enjoyed today's video and kind of let me know what you decided your April theme should be for, for your bullet journal. I'm gonna give it up to the voiceover and the video now. Hi, I am so excited to do this plan with me with you guys. It It's definitely been a journey. I just wanted to quickly show you what my March looked like. I incorporated these sticky notes, which I got from a friend, which I love. And here I'm just quickly showing you where I got the inspiration. I pretty much copied the image and I thought I would add my own flair. So the pen that I'm using here is actually such a nice pen. It is called the Microline pen and it is in 02. So it's quite small, like quite thin, but it's not too thin. However, I do think I will be purchasing a smaller one in the future just to do the more delicate and fine details that I wasn't really able to achieve with this. I mean, the image turned out really well. I'm not like upset about how it, everything turned out, but I definitely do think I want a little bit smaller for the other things. So for this page, I just used a stencil that I got and I, I like the shape of it in general and I think it's like the perfect size to do this. So this is my content planner, which I introduced two, two months ago or last month. I'm not entirely sure. And for this, I also just drew another like swirly design in the corner to make it work. This time around, you'd see that I actually did not write or like separate things into columns like I did last month for YouTube blog and instagram instead i'm just gonna like write it down like a day-to-day -day basis so like for example on the first i have to upload my april tbr for example and post about it on instagram so that's how i'm gonna personalize it a bit more so my weekly spreads they are actually the exact same format as last month however i'm just like pre-planning it a bit more this month because i don't actually allocate space for each and every single day i'm just writing down monday for all of the weeks here, I'm also just dividing the page up. These are eight dots from the spine. And it's just to write things such as the, the do this week, to read this week, do this week. And then there's a, sp a space in the bottom for next week so that I can be aware of what is happening in the following week. Even though I do have the next spread, I only fill it in as the day comes. But I really, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I think it works really, really well. <laughs> aren't aware in April the magical readathon which is hosted by G is taking place and I decided this year that I too would participate and this is basically the PDFs and graphics that she designed for the readathon this is the letter to Hogwarts 
which is quite nice. And then the next page is the exams, which is basically prompts for the box. And then next to it, you can see what career I wish to follow. And I thought I would put it in here just so I could have like a record of it. Because later on the year, we're going to have something called the newts, which is the next examination stage. Because the owls is the ordinary wizarding level examinations. And I thought a magic zoologist fits me perfectly. And yeah, so in order to like assist me a little bit in the prompts, I designed, not designed, but I, I drew, I created this spread, which basically is kind of like an exam thing. It's actually a lot shorter than what I thought it was. I was planning out a two page spread for this, but it didn't end up working out that way. I ended up needing a lot less space. So the first one is class. So I wrote class and then care of magical creatures and then the exam is on hippogriffs with creature and the prompt would be like creature with a beak on the cover. And then I wish I didn't write resource. I'm, I wish I wrote study material because that way it made it a little bit more sense. But you know, you learn, you learn as you go. And then I just wrote the book that I wanted to read. And then afterwards I wrote it completed, yes or no, which is like a place where I could tick it. And then for nudes, I think I would have completed and then grade when it comes to the nudes, I think, which happens in August. I've also used a, it's a brush tip, which I also bought when I bought my new pen. And it's just a dual brush to pens. It does, I don't know what make it is. It doesn't say. And on the one side is like a fine liner, which I don't even use. And the other side is a brush. I can't even tell you what color this is because this has no information on it whatsoever. But it's like a dark gray. Although it comes off very blue, which I don't mind. I thought it suited this quite well. So I actually wanted to read to you what a magi zoologist does. So a magi zoologist is a person who dedicates their life to studying, investigating, and protecting magical creatures. It's a popular career with many possible subpaths. The majority of wizards decide to focus on a specific favorite species after a couple of decades of studying a broader spectrum of fantastic beasts. However, general magi zoologists are also highly sought after by many institutions. This is an occupation for those with an inborn affinity to animals, those who are not afraid of an occasional injury, and those who enjoy traveling. As a magi zoologist, you will find yourself traveling all over the world in search of creatures and participating in magi zoology expeditions with fellow researchers. As such, this might not be a particularly suitable career for those who wish to settle down or have recently started a family. You do not need to present Hogwarts certification at most job interviews for jobs relating to magical creature care or supervision, as most tests are very much hands-on. It is, however, advantageous if you have the below listed grades to show. And then we just have the prompts. And the key traits for a magi zoologist is care, gentleness, and perception. Doesn't this just, I, I feel like this sounds like me. I house it a lot and I look after animals pretty much for a living. I mean, I might not have a certification in zoology or whatever, but I think it works and uh, it makes me happy. <laughs> also, the blocks that I'm drawing over here are actually also used, I used this, the template stencil thing for because those are the nicest blocks I could find. And that, I mean, they're the nicest I've ever drawn blocks as well. At this point, I'm also changing the pen pencil. Zero seven ball pen and I really love that this. this pen is so nice and comfortable to write with it is a triangular pen and I just find it to be one of the best pens I've ever had the ink is quite easy flowing I've never had an issue with it um, not rolling anymore or anything like that and I've, I've used it quite a lot and I just use the normal pen to write out exam questions which are like hippogriffs and then the prompts that come with that as well as the books, the yes and the no, I also wrote in this after deciding after the first prompt that I did not quite prefer it to be in the fine liner.
and then for for my career of a magic zoologist i actually only have four prompts uh which is as i mentioned care of magical creatures charms herbology and potions and i think it really just worked out that it ended up on the same page now that I finished it I realized that as I mentioned that I wanted to do extracurriculars but I I was ori originally intending for the pages to be over two well the, the spread to be over two pages but I ended up working out well because I, I drew this box on the left on the right side my bad um very early on and then I was happy that it actually ended up working so here I'm just erasing everything because I had the pencil underneath it and I obviously do not want the pencil here I'm just showing you everything <laughs> just so you could have a quick another look at it. I also wanted to show you what I intended for this page. So I didn't want the extracurriculars, so the extra seminar classes that you could do to be all on the same page because I wanted to kind of do the exact same format underneath it. Thank you once again for watching. Please let me know down below if you use a blue journal and what your April theme was. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.